guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to share with you the ultimate sticky buns, which um, is one of my weaknesses. I hardly ever make them because they are the ultimate indulgence, but when I do, I make sure to share one with someone that I love <laughs> because they are incredible. If you've been following me for a long time, then you know that my cinnamon rolls are just a very popular recipe here at Alara in the Kitchen. People love them. I even put them in my book, uh, which if you don't have my book, you should have it because it is pretty awesome. Um, they're just a fan favorite. They're a family favorite. And so when I was thinking about making an updated like sticky bun recipe, um, I, it was a, no doubt was I going to use the same dough because it's just perfect. And anyone that's made that dough will tell me it is the most pillowy soft dough on the planet. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let me run you through the ingredients you'll need for the dough, which is some all-purpose flour, sugar and salt, a mixture of water and milk, an egg, some melted butter, act, uh, dry yeast, <laughs> and a little bit more sugar, and vanilla. That's all you're going to need, and it makes for the most perfect dough. So I'm going to mix together my sugar and my yeast, and I'm going to just sprinkle that over the warm milk and water. What I did was I just mixed together the, warm, the milk and the water, popped it in the microwave for 45 seconds, and what I'm going to do now is set that aside for like five minutes until it's like foamy and it activates and it does all magical things. So when that happens, I got nothing to do because I already got my dry ingredients in here, so I'm just going to get my dough hook and then put it all together. Just mixing my dry ingredients. And now pretty much everything else just goes in at the same time. I, this is the beauty of this dough. And it just works out perfect every single time. So we've got the uh, yeast mixture, an egg, butter. Make sure your butter's cold a bit. And I need a splash of vanilla. And I am just going to pop this under here and let it knead until it comes together. That's pretty much it. Get this on. Come on, buddy. Yes. Let it go. Perfect. Get it out of here. Pull it together. Pull it together. <laughs> That's what I tell myself six times throughout the day. <laughs> um, and then just place it in an oiled bowl and cover it and just allow it to rise until it's like real puffy and glorious. It could take up to a couple hours, so do not rush the process. Uh, a couple of my favorite places to allow dough to rise, because remember, wherever you put it, you want it to be draft free. So one, I put it in the microwave, microwave turned off, or I put it in my oven with the oven light on, and it is like perfection. So I'm gonna do that, let it rise, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Dough is looking perfect. I'm going to set that aside because I want to get everything else ready uh, before I start rolling things out. So let's talk about the sticky part, the caramel part. I've been playing around with this and I made uh, a caramel sauce and it turned out good. But then I thought to myself, why am I cooking the caramel when it can do that for me in the oven? So this is how good this is. In a bowl, you're going to add brown sugar, you need corn syrup, light corn syrup, and honey. You can do all honey if you don't want to do corn syrup or all corn syrup. I like to do a little bit of both because um, I think the honey has too much flavor uh, and I don't want it to compete too much with everything else. So to that, you are going to add lots of soft unsalted butter and a little bit of vanilla. Hold that thought. I need to go grab a couple tablespoons of milk. One, two, three. A few tablespoons. You can also use heavy cream, and I've had great luck using evaporated milk as well. So, whichever you got, it will be perfect. Your pan, you can use a 9 by 13 for this, uh, which works fine, but I like to use this pan right here, which I believe it's like a 9 by 15. It's slightly bigger than a 9 by 14, maybe a 10 by 15, and it holds these perfectly. And I make about 14 really plump, just delicious cinnamon rolls. So don't worry if it looks like it's splitting, if it looks like it's not going to work out well, because it will work out so well in the end, you're just going to have to trust me. And I've never met a cinnamon roll I didn't like, so when I tell you these are good, you're going to have to believe me. They are very good. As evenly as you can manage, you're going to just spread this out 
in the bottom of your prepared pan that I have made sure to grease. Okay. I know what you're thinking. I've lost my mind, but trust me, these are phenomenal. And then you're going to take some pecans and you're going to just sprinkle them all over the top. Remember, the bottom layer here is going to end up being your top layer. So it's just going to be so good. Beautiful. Now set that aside. That's done. Okay. We've got brown sugar and cinnamon that I just mix with my hands just to make sure it's incorporated. I've got some soft butter here, a little, little, little light flour. And now I'm going to just take my gorgeous dough out of here. Beautiful. And I'm just going to use a rolling pin. You really can just use your hands, to be honest, to roll this out into a long rectangle. Now you take your butter, softened butter, and you're just going to smear that from corner to corner. Nice thin layer. And now the cinnamon sugar mixture. And don't, don't come for me and tell me how sweet this is. I know, that's why I told you in the very beginning, I don't make this often because it is the ultimate indulgence, but man, is it worth it for a special occasion. Or say you know someone that's had a baby or you know someone that hasn't felt well or something and you want to make them one of their favorite things, which around here, most people I know love cinnamon rolls. Um, this is a great treat to make them feel just a little bit better. So that looks good. And now you just start rolling your dough. I'm trying to get this as nice and tight as possible. I'm going to get about eh, 16 or so out of this. I do 14, uh, 15, 16. It depends really on how I roll this out, how thick I roll it out, how long, I mean. And you just kind of nestle them in your pan right on top of that filling. These are going to be so gorgeous. You don't even know. You have no idea how good these are going to be. So I'm just going to go do that. And then I'm going to loosely wrap them again. Let them rest and rise for about 45 minutes. And then I'll show you what they look like before they go in the oven. These look amazing. I'm just going to go ahead and pop them in the 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes and then five minutes after they come out, we're going to invert them in onto a platter and wait until you see what they look like because you are going to be amazed. All right, these were in the oven for 30 minutes. They came out exactly five minutes ago and you have to flip these quickly. Um, no longer than 10 minutes because what happens is that caramel, caramel, whatever you want to call it, starts to set um, and then they won't release easily. So you have to do this when they're still warm. It's a bit of a pain. You're going to have to just be patient and have, you have to get a platter. Oh, I heard them. That's big enough to hold them all in there. Get them all. Yes. That, my friend, is Complete perfection, okay? Oh my goodness. Now these are still very hot. I wouldn't even suggest you eat one right now because they are so hot, but you know what? You only live once. But I just wanna show you how fluffy and pillowy these are. I mean, look at that, right? You can see the caramel, it's just sort of like dripped in there. I'm just gonna take a quick bite. Oh yeah, you can see the caramel sort of like dripped into the dough and it's just like perfection. Be careful if you're going to taste one when they're this hot because it is melted sugar. You have no idea how good these are. Mm. 
incredible. Very hot. Amazing. Mmm. Trust me, these are the most perfect sticky buns you will ever have in your entire life. Go to lauraindthekitchen.com and get the written recipe. Please let these cool a little bit longer before you eat them. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Until next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.